Hey, what's going on everybody? Robbie here. Uh, so I got all your guys' feedback about um, having diversity of content on the channel. And I'm really happy you guys had such positive feedback on the idea of me posting different types of videos on this channel opposed to just music, which I'll still do the music as well. But the first video I wanna kick off that has nothing to do with music is something a little bit deep. It's something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but I've always been afraid to, to be honest, especially in this day and age. Um, and that's becoming a new Christian or, or someone of, of faith. Uh, it is like super taboo in 2020 for some reason. And let's just back it up a little bit and kind of talk about what led me down this path of finding Jesus and getting close to God. Now, this isn't something that's taught often enough to the youth today, but spiritual death and spiritual despair is so real. I experienced it firsthand probably about a year ago. I had pretty much a full mental breakdown to the point to where at nighttime when I'd lay in bed, I felt like I would hallucinate slightly. And, and I just felt this overwhelming sense of despair and darkness and hopelessness pretty much every day. I had nihilism where I felt like nothing mattered. And what led to this mental breakdown was experimenting with psychedelic substances. So if anybody's ever thinking about experimenting with magic mushrooms or anything like that, you need to be extremely careful because it is no joke. And I would actually recommend not experimenting with stuff like that because in my experience, what I was doing when I would experiment with stuff with the, like that is I was trying to find some kind of spirituality through physical means, meaning like using some kind of drug like marijuana or mushrooms or whatever it might be to kind of experience some kind of spiritual feeling or feeling of peace. And for a while it actually was working for me until one night I did a heavy dosage of, of psychedelics and I had a full mental breakdown to the point to where I actually thought I died and I thought that my life was over and it was it was literally the worst experience I've ever had. I, I, I can get more into it maybe in another video, but just to keep it short, it was like, the way I would describe it is <sighs> like literally going to hell in the physical realm is how I would describe it. And I was depressed for months afterwards and it led to extreme nihilism almost hallucinating at nighttime. I felt like there was this impending darkness coming for me and I didn't know what it meant or what it was, but I'd, I'd have, I'd be up tossing and turning in bed for hours every night. And it just felt like my life was going nowhere and nothing had any meaning and I was sad all the time. And, you know, I was gaining a lot of weight. Um, I've lost quite a bit of weight um, after finding God, but, you know, I hit this, this point where I, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I decided to move in, in with my family and to kind of reconnect with them because they lived in a different state. So I live in a different state now. And it ended up being a really positive experience, even though I was reluctant to do it because it's hard, you know, telling people when you need help, but you should do it. If you need help, your family will help you. At least if you have a loving family. And I have an incredible family that was willing to take me in and help me when I needed it. And there was one thing that changed my life drastically. And it took a lot of soul searching and a lot of just reaching out. But that was reconnecting with God. When I was younger, I used to have a really great connection with God. And then through culture and through different things that I experienced and, and, you know, just, just seeing what the kind of like moral code is for 2020, I kind of went away from God over time. And I feel like I was kind of brainwashed by, by modern culture, just to be completely honest. And it, it took me a lot to get back to God. So there's this point to where 
I would pray every night. Um, and this is when I had no connection to God whatsoever. I was just praying because at that point I, I was completely desperate and I didn't know what else to do. So I was just thinking every night, reaching out, just saying, Jesus, if you're real, please help me. I need your help so bad. I'm struggling. And for a while, I, I felt no connection. And I told myself, just be honest, because I, I, I watch videos of pastors talking and stuff. They say, they say relationship with God is like a relationship with a person. You can be open and honest with them. And as long as you open your heart to the possibility, God will reveal himself, right? So, so I kept that in my mind as I, as I kept venturing on this path. And, you know, I would pray every night, Jesus, please help me, show me what to do, reveal yourself to me. And over time, this connection started to form to where I felt like I was actually bonding with somebody that's not physically here. It's the strangest thing to describe. And I, I started to feel a little bit more hopeful and a little bit um, less depressed. And then I went to bed one night and I had this crazy dream. It's very short, but you know when you have a dream that's really chaotic and it's all over the place and it kind of morphs and bends in different directions and it doesn't make a lot of sense? This wasn't like that at all. This dream was very clear cut, very short and to the point and left such a profound effect on me um, spiritually. And I just, I just think it's incredible. So I had this dream where, so at nighttime when I was like almost hallucinating or having some form of like lucid thoughts that almost felt real, I, I felt like there was like this, how do I describe this? I felt like I was laying in the ground, right? And these roots were coming towards me and they were going to like consume me. It's very abstract and strange, I know, but like this impending darkness was getting closer and closer every night. And there was literally nothing I could do about it. And I had no idea it was because I was spiritually dead. And so one night I finally have this dream after pleading with God time and time again. And it was that feeling of helplessness, right? And I felt terrified in the dream and I felt like this was coming for me. And I was in this room that was completely absorbed by nothing but blackness and darkness and, and just this horrible feeling of despair. And then suddenly a light appears in the dream and it is a figure that appears to be, as I would imagine Jesus looks, standing in the darkness, holding a torch, oddly. And, and the light gave me so much peace in, in the dream and this feeling of despair completely went away and, and this light just lit up the darkness and it made me feel so safe and calm. And that was the dream, that was it. It was short and sweet, but it left such a profound effect. And when I woke up, I knew from that point onward, I was a Christian and I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not as close to God as I'd like to be. I'm, I'm striving towards it every day. It's a relationship that I'm continuing to build on. And I just want to share this verse that I found because I, I looked up this dream and I thought it was really, really interesting. So this is, um, what's the exact verse? Let me find it. But it's really interesting. So it's John 8, 12, I believe. I'm not super articulate in the Bible yet. I'm currently reading it, but it's a big book and it's hard to read because, you know, the wording is like kind of old sounding. But this quote basically says, um, Jesus uh, spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And I thought that and captured my dream so perfectly. And it was right there in the Bible. And I've heard people talk about this where they'll have some kind of experience or get some kind of message um, from God. And it can be kind of translated in the Bible and you'll find some words that speak to your soul. And uh, that was basically my experience. And I know it's like taboo in 2020 to, to believe in God. And I know it's like this weird thing that culture doesn't really accept or whatever but it's like I can't help it I'm having these dreams I'm having this feeling of peace when I haven't had it in months where does that come from and I'm not somebody who's like you know 
going to lie to myself to make myself believe something. It was just a, a feeling that I had upon building a relationship. And ever since that dream, the, the feeling of impending doom at nighttime has completely gone away. I've been completely healed from it. And it's just this miraculous thing that, that's incredible. And when you learn about Jesus and you learn about his teachings and you learn about how people lie about what his message is today, his message is nothing but love and peace and, and happiness. And, you know, I'm not like a scholar, so I'm not going to sit here and, and tell you exactly what it is. Once I'm more researched, I can make more videos on this. But I think it is so important that you build this connection or at least try to, even if you're like atheist or agnostic, like why close your mind to the possibility that maybe this is true? You know what I mean? Like maybe the Bible is true. And I opened my mind to that. And the more you look into it, it just, it speaks to me on such a spiritual level unlike anything I've ever experienced. All the stuff I tried to fill my spirit with to find peace never worked. Like the Bible and like the teachings of Jesus. I'll even be honest, I, re I read the, the Sermon on the Mountain um, in the Bible because I was reading the, the New Testament and I broke down and cried when I read it for literally no reason, like over sense or, or an overwhelming sense of emotion flooded me. And I just started crying because I knew in my soul that these words were the truth. And now my life has gotten significantly better. I've lost weight. I've gained control of my, my um, mental capacity. I feel mentally stable. I feel physically stable. Uh, I've been working out nonstop. I've just been a better person ever since I formed this connection. And I think it is so important that everybody tries. And, you know, people are going to say, it's not real, it's fantasy. It, it's this, it's that. It's it's not fantasy. It's not. Once you feel, people describe feeling the Holy Spirit. It's this warmth in your chest, this overwhelming sense of peace and security and love. And they say the Holy Spirit works through through everyone, right? When you open your heart to God. When you feel that, that's not fake. Nothing can fake that, at least in my opinion. And I hope this video doesn't sound like preachy. Like you could do whatever you want, right? But I'm just telling you how much this improved my life. It actually saved my life. I was, I don't know what would have happened if I, if I didn't go down this road. I would have gone into full mental chaos. I mean, like a psych ward or something. It was getting really, really bad. And, you know, I had another dream uh, recently and it was just like the first one where it's very short, very to the point. And although I feel like I'm not worthy of sharing this message or whatever, it was a dream where I was sitting at a table with complete strangers, uh, dis describing God and Jesus and how Jesus came in the flesh to absolve us from our sins. Right, Because when you're living in complete sin, it leads to spiritual death. And if you don't have the Savior that absolves you from your sins, you go to spiritual hell or whatever it might be. And that's how I feel. So I, I felt inclined to make this video. Uh, I don't want to preach at you, but I'm just telling you my experience. And I think everybody's experience is valid. But I think it's so important that you try to form this connection and do your own research and stuff. And I'll make more videos and stuff on it. Um, as I read the Bible, as I grow to know more, but right now I just want to say in general, forming that connection with Jesus Christ, it'll change your life in, in ways you couldn't even begin to understand. I never thought I'd be able to lose weight. I never thought I'd be able to feel okay mentally. I never thought I'd be able to achieve any of these things, but through Jesus, through God, through this whole process that has taken months, by the way. This is not, This was not a short process for me, right? I don't think you could form a connection overnight, but if you keep your heart open and you keep trying, I really do believe God will reach out to you in some kind of way. And in this day and age, seeing the state of the world, seeing how much control like the government has over our life and all this crazy stuff that's happening, I think it's more important to, to find God now than it ever has been because I just don't know what's going on with the state of the world. It's absolutely insane. But, you know, if, you, if you're agnostic, if you're atheist, just know that a lot of the people you listen to are conditioning you to feel a certain kind of way 
and making people of faith sound like these crazy whack jobs that are, you know, completely out of touch and stuff, but really think for yourself and, and ask yourself if that's true and maybe seek the answers for yourself and just see what happens because that's what I did. And I felt like I was being convinced by, you know, whether it's people on YouTube or media or whatever, they're trying to convince you that all this stuff is fake and you shouldn't listen to it. And you just look at the way they lie about everything on the news and stuff. And I just don't trust any of them. I trust what I felt right here. And I think you guys should too. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thanks for listening. Peace out.